Hello everyone, Philip Moisin here. In this video I want to show you how to add a new post in your WordPress blog uh, by taking the information from another WordPress blog that you don't have access to directly but you have access to the database of that blog. So, uh, first you go into cPanel into cPanel you'll see there are many uh, options uh, I want you to go into the, the, the options that you see like that look like this on your screen uh, databases box and you click on PHP my admin uh, the, the, the cPanel screen will look different than that but uh, I don't want to show I didn't want to show you the whole thing here because there is sensitive information okay so you click on PHP my admin which will bring you to this screen. Uh, what you don't see in the video is that on the left there, there, there are the names of the databases because I have many databases uh, on this site for WordPress blogs. Uh, I made a little many experiments over, the, over time. Okay, so I'm going to choose the database that I want to get the posts from. Okay, and then you'll see this sounds very technical but actually it's very simple to understand it's very logical uh, it's uh, it's all about SQL SQL it's written here structured query language it's uh, written in the language that is, is quite of easy to understand so we choose the WP posts which means WordPress posts we choose this table okay uh, and then uh, as you can see there are 30 pages it says 30 pages of posts and uh, you see publish draft uh, if we scroll down you see inherit what I want is that the all the posts that are published then I, I so it's easy to modify the command here the select from WP posts it's easy to modify this command you click on edit and then this screen opens and then for convenience here I will simply copy I already copied the command I want it's actually only a modification of the current the command that is already here I add the part that says where post status like the uh, percent publish percent publish percent is a wildcard so I click on go okay so that uh, it's been done so I close the window and now you can see that only the the, the the publish post appear so let's see that uh, I won't choose this at awesome one-time offer OTO post this is the post title so I will click on edit okay so the title appears here I'm going to copy this part I'm going to put it in the add new post and then I'm going to go here in the, the, the body part and I'm going to click on HTML and you understand why in a second because uh, here in the, 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 the body part, the post content, you control A, control C. There are HTML uh, stuff among it, so so it looks ugly here. So you cl click on visual. Now it appears better, but it needs some editing because at the time I wrote these posts, I wasn't really taking care of SEO. But at least all it needs to do is editing. So I click on save draft. And there you go, the 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 posts uh, the post is now ready to be edited for SEO purposes, and uh, it will appear on my new blog, and uh, I will have to create it from scratch. I hope this video was uh, informative for you, and if you need uh, to learn a little more about the SQL SQL, just uh, send me a private message at AppSense, the business social network. Okay, thanks. Bye bye.